he he um he, he he grinded his way to the top, man. He not a street guy. He not a fucking thug. So he had that against him. That's actually a a, a knock against you when you're trying to make it in hip hop. So for him to make it there, he made it there with like um. He made it there on pure like talent and and um determination, man. So now he signs a, a exclusive deal. So he he usually streams on Twitch and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Now he signed an exclusive deal with Rumble. He said, yeah, Roller Martin went nuts. I saw that shit, man. Roller Martin lost his head. Because, you know, listen to this guy. Look at this guy, man. This guy says, no one wants to have a real convo about how the majority of the industry is filled with black people cozying up to whiteness. <laughs> so they're accusing him of cozying up to whiteness. <laughs> Cozying up the whiteness. My daughter loves that word. Cozy. She be like cozy, cozy. She like being. She like being under the blanket. She say cozy. This shit is crazy, man. So him signing with. <laughs> him signing with Rumble. Is cozying up to whiteness. <laughs> cozying up to whiteness. You just can't make this shit up, man. It's very, 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 very hard to make this shit up. This shit that some people talk about, it's hard to make that shit up, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. It's hard to make that shit up. He's cozying up to whiteness by signing an exclusive deal with Rumble. The same way Willie and Gallo got, I said Willie and Gallo, Gilly and Wallow were cozying up the whiteness by signing a $100 million deal with Barstool. So it's cozying up the whiteness. So you know what I want to do? Here's what I want to do, man. Because the hip-hop industry is upset, right? Hip-hop industry is pissed off with DJ Academics, man. And link is in the description box, man. Link is in the description box. Link is in the um description box. Let's see. The top 30. Here's the, here's the Billboard 2023 Power 100 list. How many some people do you think on this list, man? I'm gonna let y'all. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, um. How many some people do you think on this list? The Power 100. Cause you know DJ Academics and Rumble. That's that's cozying up the whiteness, man. <laughs> he cozying up the whiteness by signing with Rumble, man. If he wouldn't have signed with Rumble, man, he wouldn't have had no to deal with no white people, man. This is the Billboard Power list of executives in the music industry. And executives in the music industry. Somebody said 10, 40. All right, let's count it. Let's count it. So number one is Lucien Grange. Lucien Grange. He's the chairman and CEO of Universal Music Group. 
Then we have Rob Stringer. Look at Rob, Rob Stringer. He's the chairman of Sony Music Group. Now, Sony distributes a lot of rap labels and whatnot. You know, um, a lot of people like Beyonce and different people are under Sony, the Sony umbrella. Then three is Michael Rapino. No, no relation to Megan Rapino. He's the president and CEO of Live Nation. I know you've heard of Live Nation. So right off the bat, the top three guys in the industry are gliders. <sighs> Let's see if we can find a sun man. Because, you know, DJ Academics is cozying up the whiteness by signing with Rump. <laughs> Rob Kinsel, he's the CEO of the Warner Music Group. Go ahead, Rob, with your old ass trying to still look young. Who's this? Daniel Eck? He's the CEO of Spotify. Shout out to Spotify, man. I got my music on Spotify. I got to fucking get in contact with this guy, man. Six is Oliver Schissa. He's the vice president of Apple Music. So far, man, it's a lot of cozy. <laughs> so far, so far, it's a lot of cozy enough to, to white people, man. Um, maybe DJ Academics couldn't have avoided having to cozy up the white people. But anyway, let's see. Let's see. And the hip hop world is pissed. I mean, everyone's hot with DJ Academics. Um, number seven, Irving Azoff and Jeffrey Azoff. They're the, ch the chairman and CEO of the Azoff company. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We got a sun man at number eight. Wow. John Platt. Who thinks he's a, um, who thinks he's a diversity hire, man? Hit one if you think he a diversity hire, man. But salute to this son, man. Number eight. I wasn't expecting this, man. Wow. He's the chairman and CEO of Sony Music Publishing. So that's where you get your money. Salute, man. Salute, man. John Platt, man. I ain't, I ain't mad at you, man. Number nine, Jody Gerson, chairman and CEO of the Universal Music Publishing Group. Then, of course, you know Liar Cohen. You know him. He's the... um global head of music at Google and YouTube. I think he used to be with Def Jam before this. But Lyra Cohen, man, he's a big rapper um, in the rap industry. Juice Crew. Steve Boom, the VP of Audio, Twitch, and Games at Amazon. Jay Marciano, the COO of AEG. Max Lusada. The CEO of Warner Recorded Music. Hartwig Marsh, the CEO of BMG. Guy Moot and Carrie Ann Marshall, the CEO and CEO of Warner Chapel Music. It seems like the only thing you can do in the in the in the, in, the, in the music industry is cozy up the white people, man. Why they make it seem like it was just? Why they making it like it was a bunch of black people? <laughs> it was a, like it was a bunch of black people and shit in the music industry. And DJ Academics chose Rumble, man. 
You know, he's he, he's selling out, man. It was so many black people to um <laughs> just giving away money, man. Um, giving people deals, man. Black people just giving people deals left and right, man. And um, TV academics chose to mess with Rumble. This guy right here is um Coran Capshaw. He's the founder of Red Light Management. All right, let me just go down and see if we can find a sun man, man. Let's see if we can find another sun man. Let's see if we can find another sun man. We on the hunt. We on the hunt for for sun October, man. Damn, I thought that was a sun man when I when I came down. I was like, oh shit, the sun man. Oh shit, oh Patrick Kelsey ass glider, man. <laughs> Oh, he's the executive of the year. Okay. Let's see, Sun Man. Sun, nope. Damn. The music industry at the top is white as a <laughs> it's white as a motherfucker at the top, man. God damn. Oh, shit. It's white as a motherfucker at the top. Shit. Damn. Damn. You ain't see baby or Diddy, none of them people. <laughs> you ain't see none of the none of the, the people that black people, Jermaine Dupree, none of them people. <laughs> Marcy, did you think you was gonna see a Diddy or Jermaine Dupree or Dr. Dre or somebody on that list? Nah. Uh you didn't think so? No. <laughs> those, kind of, those kind of guys they, they move real they move very quietly they're not very they're very low key you, you hardly ever hear about them they ain't they ain't showing you their wrist every time you see them and shit they, yeah. they ain't only you telling you how much money they got yeah yeah wow. that's how they like it oh yeah definitely man there's no reason to be fucking that, that's that's sun people shit man to be Walk around with a million dollars worth of jewelry on, talking about all the hoes you got, and you an executive. <laughs> you, you, most, most sun people executives, they try to be more famous than the stars on the label. You notice that they outshine sun, sun executives outshine their artists. That's crazy, isn't it? They outshine their artist. You like fuck the dick, fuck the artist. I want to learn more about you, man. You, you <laughs> the, you the one with all the jewelry on, and you the one with all the, with all the goddamn women, and you the one always in the papers. Man. Everybody would be like John Gotti. Yeah, man. We ain't see none of the usual suspects, man. Damn. Where was where was the Diddy at, man? Diddy ain't in there, man. Diddy ain't in the in the building, man. <laughs> God dog. No. What's up, chat? So let's see. Let's see what academics, man. He's, he got to deal with Rumble, man. That's that's what's up, man. Yeah, I heard about that earlier today. Yeah, man. Let's see this. To be right. When 2013, when I started streaming, and I went on a gaming. Oh, you know what? Last time I, last time I, um, Streamed his shit. They 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 um were like, nah, they didn't 
yeah, but they 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 blo- I had to take it out. I had to take it out of my um. Let, let's see this, man. Let's see this, Roland Martin. Let's see this. In 2016, Donald Trump increased the numbers. Hold up, what is he wearing? Republicans got from black men. He got a dashiki on, man. He 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 really. He really mad, man. He mad at academics, man. Academics signed a lucrative deal, man. Let's see. That's his mama's movement. We saw the impact of that in the 2018 midterm elections, and then we saw it again in 2020. So you may ask, well, what is that play? And, and you got the folks out there who, uh, again, and, and I can tell you, I see exactly what the strategy is because what Republicans are doing, uh, they, they what they are suggesting is that oh, uh, you got a group of black men out there who feels as if no one listens to them, no one talks to them, and so I see how they begin to parrot the right wing talking points. I see uh, when I did interviews with uh, the Breakfast Club and Vlad TV and Ebro in the mornings when they jump on these message boards and you can always see the same language. Oh, uh, you ain't nothing but a shield for the Democrats and uh, you trying to get us to vote Democrat. I I had one fool say, oh, you were trying to get us to vote for Hillary. Well, fool, she was running against Trump. So what are you saying? You want a Trump? (laughs) Yeah, but he know black dudes, most black dudes to pussy, they say, yeah. Most most black dudes would be like, uh, I mean, I ain't saying that. <laughs> but, yeah. but, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Oh, you trying to support Biden. He's running against Trump. And so I need y'all to understand what's going on. So a move took place today, announcement was made, uh, where uh, the right wing streaming platform rumble now they trying to compete with youtube all right but this is an absolute right wing platform called rumble so they signed an exclusive deal with dj academics to live stream on their platform three to five times a week now which is great because that's going to bring over a bunch of new viewers his viewers will come over here they'll see other people over here because everybody's over here Everybody's over here. I'm over here. It's the place to be. Everybody's over on Rumble. This guy's, he should, Roland Martin should be over here, man. Why you ain't over here, Roland? This is the press release uh, that they put out. Uh, Rumble, now this is a publicly traded company, Rumble, the video sharing platform, announced today that the popular media personality, DJ Academics, will live stream exclusively on Rumble three to five days a week. Um, Known for authentic voice, DJ Academics is a powerful culture entertainment influencer with 5.2 million Instagram followers and 2.76 million YouTube subscribers. The Jamaican-American podcast to recover the latest news in hip-hop music along with a satirical take on top headlines. Now, uh, he says, I look forward to being one of the first to bring music and cultural conversations to a platform like Rumble. There have been many bad decisions at larger platforms where they haven't put creators first and they are disconnected to the community. I feel now as an inflection point for streaming platforms, I couldn't be more excited to lead this effort on a platform that puts creators first. But here's the question. Do they put black people first? <laughs> now, I'm trying to explain to you. This fool. What kind of question is that? <laughs> this, this, this guy's hated of the, he's hated of the year. Think about it. This guy, this guy gets to talk like this, and I haven't seen this, but I know he's just warming up. I know he's just warming up because he got his dashiki on. <laughs> this, th- look at, listen to how black people talk. We're fucking racist as shit. We're fucking. We have so much privilege to. To say whatever we want to say, to talk however we want to talk, it's insane. And I want y'all to be very clear. The Republican strategy, the Republican strategy, and is is to how can they appeal to black men and they are specifically trying to target them. Hey, pull up the photo uh, from the UFC fight this weekend. Oh, you had this oh, photo of Joe Rogan and Trump with Mike Tyson in the photo. Yep, 
that was this weekend. I, I, I want y'all to understand what's going on. He sound like he sound crazy. That's because no other part, no other party appeals to black men but the Republican Party. Why not? Right. He sound like he's trying to. He he's doing a terrible. He could be smoother about trying to scare us. He like, oh, don't go over there. He, right? he, he sound like a slave. <laughs> you know? He sound like a runaway. Well, y'all, y'all thinking about running tonight? <laughs> y'all bet, bet's not run tonight. But I heard they got the slave patrols out tonight. And if you get caught, it's going to be bad on all of us. He sounds like a goddamn slave, man. Here, I need y'all to understand. The Republican Party knows black women hate them more than anybody else. There's no group that hates Republicans more than black women. But the Republicans are specifically going after certain black men. Don't, now look, they could try to play this all rumble. No, we're trying to be legitimate. And see, let me tell you how they try to play it with me. So you know I got my podcast on iHeart, uh, iHeart's platform. Well, I was asked, who you think owns iHeart <laughs> Radio? Some white guy probably, <laughs> or 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 a juice man. Who knows? <laughs> Who runs iHeartRadio, man? Um, in the certain type of black man he's talking about is a, is a free three is a free thinking straight black man. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay, so it's a guy named Bob. Let me show you the let me show you the board of directors at iHeartRadio right quick. And then we're gonna get back to this. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the PayPal, hit the Cash App, hit the super chat, support the channel. I'm gonna show you his this guy's this guy's um show is on iHeartRadio. He streams on iHeart along with YouTube. Oh shit! I was wondering what that sound was. That's my damn rain sounds. I was using to put my daughter to sleep, man. Them rain sounds be knocking her out, man. Um, but yeah, um, check this out though. Let's let's look at the board. Let's look at the board, man. Um, at 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 you know, cause he he blackity black. He not a he not a fake black man like um. He he Alan he's Alan Payne from CB4. Yeah, he yeah exactly. He a real black man. So this is the this is the chairman and chief executive officer of iHeartRadio. This is the president and chief operation officer. Look at these names: Bressler, Engelbart, Gerstner. Okay, here goes Cheryl Mills. That must be who he who he um <laughs> talked to. Cheryl Mills. Diversity hire, man. Cheryl Mills, old diversity hire, man. Garciella Mutalong and Jay Rasulo and Kamashika. What the? Kamashi, Kama, 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 Kamakshi Sivaram Makirishmanan. See, it's the thing about her, man. Yo, think about her as a kid in first grade having to write her name. Think about that. Siva Ramakrishnan. Yeah, As Siva kid, Ramakrishnan. First grade, everybody named John Smith and Jill. I had the same thing, man. I had, I had a lot of letters in my name. Yeah. I was like, this is this 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 is ridiculous, man. God damn. I only had what nine letters in my first name. And Five in my last, six in my last name. This girl's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen letters in her last name. Yeah, so anyway, this is the blackly black group that doing Roland Martin's <laughs> fucking slash. So Roland Martin, he rolling with the he rolling with the the, the black and blacks over there at iHeartRadio. Um, let's get back to Roland, man. Um, 
my parents listen to this guy. Shit is so fucking annoying, man. Black women hate them more than anybody else. There's no group that hates Republicans more than black women. But the Republicans are specifically going after certain black men. Don't, now look, they could try to play this all rumble. No, we're trying to be legitimate. And see, let me tell you how they try to play it with me. So you know I got my podcast on iHeart, uh, iHeart's platform. Well, I was asked, because they have to ask me, do I, do, do, will I do certain readings? Because I ain't just reading anybody's stuff. So I've turned down other advertisers. Rumble wanted to run an ad on my podcast. Hell fucking no. Let me say it again. I absolutely... Who believes that? Who believes that Rumble would spend money to to put their um, commercial on this guy's platform for his viewers? I doubt it. They know they know they know what he's all about. They ain't gonna waste their time. That wouldn't that that would be a huge waste of time. I don't believe that. I think he's lying right there. I think he told a little fib right there, man. Like Rumble, like like he doesn't understand that there's fucking goddamn focus groups and goddamn studies and charts that they do before they even target advertisers, man. They would never fuck Rumble would never say, yeah, let's can put a commercial on Roland Martin's channel. What would be the ROI? What would be the return on that? How many fucking um, people would come to Rumble for that that listen to Roland Martin? One or two? Or two? <laughs> you pay fucking thousands of dollars for fucking this guy to fucking advertise and like one person comes back to Rumble off of that shit. The return would be a middle finger. Exactly. I, I think he's telling a little fib, man. Roland Martin, you fibbing, man. Absolutely said hell no to Rumble running an ad on my podcast. Why? Because I know what Rumble's about. Who's one of their uh, shareholders? Dan Bongino. Y'all pull up who Dan Bongino he a little catty little bitch, man. He talk about Dan Bongino. What the fuck? What the fuck you care about Dan Bongino, man? Dan Bongino's banned from um, he's banned from um, what's your face for uh, talking about the the the, the jab? He's banned yeah, from he, YouTube for talking about the jab. He's been on Joe he, Rogan a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, it. it, it <laughs> He's mad at Dan Bongino. He doesn't like Dan Bongino, so he's going to go off on Dan Bongino like a little catty little bitch. No, he is. Dan Bongino, former Secret Service agent, right-wing hack on Fox News, right-wing hack on the radio. That's who Dan Bongino is. Y'all need to understand what's going on here. And so Rumble... By signing DJ Academics, oh, they, they're throwing the money at them. But understand what they're trying to do. Be aware of the content on Rumble. So they will look. It's the same content on YouTube, motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody simulcast, all the YouTubers simulcast on Rumble. It's the same fucking content, you shithead. Love for the black men and the other folks who listen to DJ Academics to come on over to Rumble and support their platform, but Rumble ain't down with black people. Rumble <laughs> is a right wing platform. It is a MAGA platform. That's what it is. And that's what it was created for. Now, they're trying to sit here and spend themselves. Oh, no, we, you know, we don't have any uh, particular ideology. In fact, uh, here's, the, here's the bottom of the press release about Rumble. Go to my iPad. Rumble is a high growth. I want y'all to see this here. Rumble is a high growth neutral video platform 
that is creating the rails and independent infrastructure designed to be immune to cancel culture. Rumble's mission is to restore the internet to its roots by making it free and open once again. For more information, visit. Sounds good to me, Roland. Salute, salute to Black the Pig, man. Operation Hall of Famer, man. He says, thanks. Now I know what a dashiki is. <laughs> Only Nation News has the info we need. Yeah, man. Um, it's some interesting stuff about dashiki, so I, I may get to that a little later, man. Remind me about that, Marcy, man. I'm gonna get to that a little later about dashikis, man. It's 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 a, it'll blow your mind. Corp.rumble.com. Now let me explain something to y'all. Pull a statement up again. See, Randy. You don't have to say you're neutral if you're not. That's the first giveaway, y'all. The fact that they're saying they're neutral, they're trying to get, that's the bullshit of fair, Fox and News being, Fox News being fair and balanced. Then they're creating the rails and independent infrastructure to be immune to cancel culture. Let me explain what that means. They were created because right-wingers who spread misinformation on YouTube were getting kicked off of YouTube. Do y'all see the game plan? Randy, game recognized game, and we see exactly what they are doing. He sound like somebody's like girlfriend and shit. Like she's he sound like a girl trying to get her a, a lonely girl who got a girlfriend who got a man, and she's jealous that her girlfriend, her, her her little girlfriend got a man. So she trying to talk shit about her girlfriend's man. I seen him <laughs> at the club, girl. He was all in this girl ear. I was like, oh, you talking? Ooh. I was like, I, I he ain't see me though. I I was going to come up and say something to him, girl, but I was like, mm, ain't none of my business. But yeah, he was all up in that girl ear. I was like, ugh. Like, he sounded like a fucking, he sounded like a fucking whore, man. <laughs> Just catty. <laughs> you muted. Come on, guys. What's up? Randy, can you hear me? I hear you fine. There you go. Now yeah. we can hear you. Okay, um, this is a classic case of the search of the cheapest Negro. Yes, they are paying him quite well. By cheap, I'm talking about having some boundaries um, to have some pride in yourself and not be willing just to sell your entire race out because he- <laughs> So academics is selling his entire race out according to fucking goddamn Miss Mulatto here. They're the ones they go the hardest on the color mess. Yeah, I wish they could. I wish they could realize how how it, how it looks from that from the outside looking in. They don't care because they're gonna win the election with this shit. This stuff is this stuff works better than the Republicans. The Republicans are pussies, man. This right here going hard like this. And fucking being maniacal and weird and shit, that shit generates emotion, man. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that that's emotion. People, people, like regardless of whether it's it's crazy or not, it still like ignites the base. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute the salute the um um oh <laughs> salute the. The lovely Miss Berry, man. She sends me some rumble stock. <laughs> Salute to you, man. I accept it, man. Thank you, man. Oh, uh, man. I might need to, yeah, I might need to buy some more, man. Um, Yeah, salute, salute. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Salute to Eric S. coming through once again. Salute to Paul Federal. I see Sun Man in Georgia jail eating alive by bed bugs. Yeah, I saw that. 
I may get to that a little later. Salute to um, Charles S. coming through once again. Charles S. Ock Nation All Pro. He said, for the struggle. Um, yeah, man. Salute to you, man. Um, appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah, yeah, this is... Go ahead, go ahead. What do, you, what do you think the reaction would be from black men if a Republican candidate came out and said, hey, look, I don't know if you know this, but the Democratic Party thinks y'all hoes. They think y'all a bunch of punk bitches. They know they know you vote for them. Listen, man, this is I don't think black men would black men are are really political idiots, man. We're 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 not that smart politically. We're just a little bit smarter than the sun women, but we're not all of that. Like we still vote for Democrat like eight eighty five percent. We just don't vote ninety seven percent like this like the she boons. She boons vote ninety seven percent, man. As a sun um, man, as a sun man, what would you what would you say would be should the would you say that should be the strategy for Republicans to get more black men to consider them on the ballot? What would be the strategy to get what to get black men? As a Sun Man, what would you think the strategy should be? To I don't get more think black men? I don't think Republicans have a chance to get more black men on the ballot, and I don't think it's worth it. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. I think the Republicans need to um, energize their base, yeah. and um, but spending any time on Sun Men, Sun Men are listen, man. Sun Men, we we not we not moving. If they could get eighty two percent a Sun, if they could get eighteen percent of the Sun Man vote. They got 15% last time, I think, 10 to 15%. If they can get 18%, that'll be great. But how much you want to spend to get that? The Repub Republicans need to focus on their base, man. Energize their base, man. Some men ain't moving like that, man. Some men, we love, we love Democrats, man. We love that shit. Um we just love he it. knows who Rumble is. But he's taking the he's taking the bait and the price, um, so he's it's a case of the cheapest Negro in my opinion, and it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. And here's the deal. No. I, I, here's the deal. I don't know. I have never met DJ Academics. I have no idea. I don't know decision to sign. I don't know what he signed for. What I do. What I do know, Larry, who Rumble is, and I do know what their strategy is. I do know exactly what what they're trying to do, and. I'm not going to sit here uh, again. I don't, you know, um, uh, again, uh, they might say, oh, no, no, no. We're trying to be, uh, this is what, how we're trying to do it. Nah, see, uh, here, here's the whole deal. We know exactly, um, we know exactly uh, what is going on here. And, and I need. So he knows exactly what Rumble strategy is. He knows everything about Rumble. He knows everything they're trying to do. Oh, God. Hey, uh, to be fair. Riling up the emotions works on women and men who have been raised by women with emotions. Exactly. And he's he's a shill for the Democrats, and he's here to rile up the sun people. He's been in election mode the last few weeks, man. He's been going hard, man. I'm not surprised about this, man. Salute to Deluxe 247 coming through once again, man. Ah, if this DA is successful, I will lose my last faith in humanity. Um, I think he was talking about um the girl, the girl from yesterday. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, listen, listen, man. Um, <sighs> salute to Gabe, Gabe M, man. Salute to you. Um, I, I just, I just think like this guy right here, man. He, he's in election mode and. You conservatives better wake up, man. These these Democrats are in election mode. You saw last week with Trump, right? Trump got arrested, right? The next day, they stole the narrative, the victim narrative. I thought Trump was going to be the victim of the week, man. As soon as I turned around, man, they got these two fucking goddamn apes down in um Tennessee, the Tennessee three, yes. and they and, and and that shit took the whole news. The whole news um, cycle went straight to them because the because the um, Democrats run the media. You you almost forgot Trump got arrested last week. 
because all the um concern was about these two um goddamn fucking idiots down in Tennessee that got um expelled from the um from the state house. So now it's all the talk is about the war on democracy, about the Republicans. The Republicans are are are, are, are um doing a war on democracy. Not that you know, the fucking Democrats just arrested the uh, ex president on trumped up charges. Where they messed up is they let him back in. Yeah, they play the game better than they listen to him. Even though he's a fucking moron. And he probably would answer that breakfast question. You know how he would answer that breakfast question. Um, how, how, what would happen if you had didn't eat breakfast yesterday? You know how this guy would answer that. I need y'all to understand, okay? This is from Pew. See, y'all, this is from Pew, December 21st, 2022. Key facts about Rumble. Right here. While 20% of US, US, U.S. adults say they have heard of Rumble, only 2% regularly get news there. Overall, just 6% of Americans regularly get news from at least one of the seven sites studied, and no single site is used for news by more than 2% of U.S. adults. Now... Here's the key. I need y'all to understand what's going on here. This is from Pew. This is not. You wonder who's no know who's neutral? It's Pew. Roughly three quarters of those who regularly get news from Rumble, that 76% identify as Republicans or lean toward the Democratic Party while 22% identify as Democrats or lean Democrat. Larry, this is Rumble's attempt to bring black people to Rumble to not just listen to his show, but the other shows on the platform, Game Recognized Game. Why is he acting like that's like illegal or something? <laughs> He's acting like they're like committing a crime, but of course that's what they're doing. No shit, dude. The reason why there's more Republicans that go to Rumble is because their creators that talk their news have been kicked off of YouTube. Exactly. Salute the genetic freak, man. He says, agreed, Ock. Reps need to focus on their base and gain it on Britos and Patels. Yeah, forget about some people, man. Already, you heard what Scott Adams said. Stay away from some people, man. They need to go yeah, in really hard well. on them. On the, uh, are you in support of you know killing babies up to nine months? Can we have some reasonable limits? And are you really in favor of, you know, cutting uh, cutting the parts off of kids? Yeah, but here's the thing: some people aren't in favor of none of that shit. Some people don't know. Some people. I just them they just vote Democrat. Um, like, burritos aren't are not are not involved with that either. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that just that just kind of like reflexively vote Democrat. Exactly. Yeah. It's not about issues. When you start talking about issues and whatnot, you you let me know you don't get some people. It's a secret We're security brand. Blanket. We 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 sh we shop brands. Brand loyal, just like that the the 1950s ad said. Exactly. Yeah. You can target some people. Well, brand the Democrat is the brand, the name brand for black people. Ball rolling, and it, it, it sounds like they're going after all the right wing hoteps in the in the black community, basically. But well, if brothers are watching this. Don't fall for the banana and tailpipe. You, you highlighted what they're trying to do in terms of this this new partnership. And I, like you said, I'm quite sure he got paid handsomely. But it, no money is worth selling out the community. And I think another thing that's really important, Roland, in terms of we talk about elections. So the rappers he covers in the war in Chirac that kill people that are responsible for numerous shootings and murders, half of these, Dirk, half of his crew is dead. Half of his crew has been, has been murdered. 
many of the murders have been on camera. So the hip hop that he covers is not the problem. They just don't want him to go to Rumble. Gotcha. You know, black people make up about 13% of the U.S. population. When it comes to these, these national elections, including presidential elections, it's important for some way Republicans to peel off black voters, whether it's those individuals who decide not to vote, you've talked about that a lot on your show, or individuals, like I said, these kind of right-wing hoteps who decide, well, I'm not going to vote Democrat because they don't, they don't care about me and I'm going to vote Republican. And so what that is, it makes it easier in some of these swing states to win. So once again, I think brothers who are watching you. this, and then you laid it out perfectly. You need to talk to black men in barbershops, mosques, uh, churches, et cetera, playing ball, whatever you're doing, the gym, to tell them don't fall for this. And then once again, it's really important to remember which parties focus on health care, education, and making sure that your civil rights are protected. Now, Mustafa, Appreciate. again, let's go back to Pew. Go back to my iPad, y'all. I'm trying to teach y'all. This is what Pew says, a closer look at news consumers on Rumble. 54% men, 44% women. Here's the key. Uh, matter of fact, Anthony, uh, give me, put in one of these monitors. I need to uh, point some stuff out. So give me the big monitor uh, over here. Okay, I, I wanna walk y'all through this because I, I, I really need y'all to understand I need y'all to understand the map here. I need, because I'm trying to walk, and again, let me be clear. I don't know DJ Academics, I don't know him. I would love to talk to him. And again, he probably got a great deal paying him lots of money. I'm explaining to y'all what the rumble strategy is here, because you need to understand who makes social media sexy? Black people. I told y'all, black people, what, but our usage of Clubhouse caused Clubhouse's uh, market cap. They, were, they went from launch to a $4 billion valuation in nine months. Black people, we make social media sexy. So here's the deal right here. This is Pew, okay? A closer look, news consumers. What I tell you, 54% men on Rumble, 40 Whoa. Well, Roland, if black people make social media sexy, where's the black version of Rumble? Where's well, um, Black Planet even, um, 2? <laughs> black Planet 2. <laughs> well, even that, if, planet, you make, if you make it se sexy, come to Rumble, bring your following there, and put some balance on the platform. Rumble will gladly bring you there if you can bring viewers. They're already there. All the black is it not but black people on Rumble, man. This guy's fucking an idiot, man. I thought so. What Star Hip Hop was think, for? Do you think that this guy uh, talks like Mossy, um, Mossy Luther King, like at the at the at college when he's like off camera? Nah, this guy, this guy's a fucking. He, this is him. This is him. He's he. Right. You can't fake this, man. He's an old. He's an old dog, man. He, 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 can't teach him no new tricks, man. Sure, he's um, got his switching when he gets off camera. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I've, I've seen him off camera. He's just a, he. Well, he's not fiery like this off camera, but he's he he ain't no code switcher though. Um, this this um, where is the black rumble? Where's um Byron Allen and um Tyler Perry and ice cube and all your rich black people man we are gonna make your own black site man so black people can come over there and threaten to kill each other and fucking shoot each other on live streams and shit. <laughs> where your shit where your shit at man i mean come on man like this is ridiculous man black people we don't build shit we're not good at that shit but we're hating on white people because white people just build shit all day long but you just build stuff for no reason. They'll make another well, thing. At least you can't uh, say that uh, Roland Martin is pretend. He actually married a son woman, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Good for him, man. 4% women. My condolences is her. Get news <laughs> from more established social media sites. 48 men, 51 women. They're targeting men. Now, let's go up here. Rumble, 
Look at the numbers here. Ages, 1829. Zoom in. 1829, 17. 30 to 49, 32. That's because conserve, older people are usually conservative because they're smart and they have experience. And young people are usually liberal because they're fucking morons. And, and brainwashed. Shit. Well, you, you know the saying, show me a young man who's, who isn't liberal and you, I'll show you a man without a heart. And show me a, an old man who's not conservative and I'll show you an old man without a brain. You know? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was heartless. Exactly. I guess man. I was too. <laughs> exactly, man. Um, this is the, all. This is this is just that. Man. Fifty to sixty-four, thirty-one, sixty-five plus twenty. That means that Rumble attracts fifty-one percent of their people are fifty plus. Fifty-one percent. Throw in thirty to forty-nine. That's eighty. That's uh eighty-three percent. Why are they paying DJ Academics? Right there, seventeen. They want him to get that number up. Who follows him? Black people, especially black men. Oh, boom! Let's go to education. High school or less, 45. Some college, 31. College plus 23. Other sites, let's go on over here. What do these numbers show you? Right here. High school, 38. Some college, 32. College plus 30. What does that tell you? Rumble appears to largely white people, white Republicans, high school or less. I need y'all to see y'all don't get when you're watching these announcements, you need to understand what you're watching. Now, let me go to the big number. Because colleges are fucking cesspools of liberal thought. And a lot of these fucking white people from rural America, they joined the military out of fucking high school, or they picked up a trade and joined the workforce out of high school because they don't have the privilege that you always talk about they have. They're fucking hard, they're fucking um, working class people, man. They don't have much. Or they As see that they're going into sign. incredible debt in college in order to get a degree and not getting a return versus they can go into a trade school and start making bank right away and make more consistent money throughout their lives. Yep. Well, the, the colleges are, are just indoctrination zones too, man. Yep. Heavy indoctrination zones. Academics. Right here. Boom. 67% of Rumble's users are white. <laughs> 5% Mustafa are black, 23% are Hispanic, 1% is Asian. This right here, 5% black, 17%, 17%, 18, that right there, Mustafa, is why Rumble signed DJ Academics to that big deal because they want to target black people, but specifically black men in anticipation of the 2024 election. That's it right okay, there. Uh, there's intentionality. So 38.2% of America is over 55. Mm. So yeah, okay, 45% is over 55 for that, but it's not that much difference. There's a lot of people that are aging in this country and there are not a lot of people replacing them. Hmm. Wait, yeah, until they, wait, wait till they start, uh, start cranking up soil and green, though. That's why Gladys uh, don't want to they get rid of abortion, because they want these um, fucking white women who stopped having babies to start having babies, man. 
And folks need to realize that folks literally have strategies about how to win these elections, how to utilize social media, how do you get the right influencers, just sharing at first some general information, and then as time goes by, they begin to change that information. And before you know it, you've been indoctrinated. Uh these people are so lowbrow and stupid and unimpressive, man. Um shit is crazy, man. Um <sighs> Let's see. Let's see our boy Bob Lee, man. I mean, I mean, they're they're losing. I mean, I happen to know a lot of a bunch of Sun people who are business owners. They've already the the, the Democrats have lost those guys. They yeah. really have. Let's see. There's been an arrest in the Bob Lee case. Yeah, but it's not who you think, man. We'll get straight to some breaking news here in San Francisco as police are about to speak publicly for the first time about an arrest made just hours ago for the killing of tech executive Bob Lee. The man arrested on suspicion of murder was arrested at his Emeryville home today. KTV crime reporter Henry Lee live in the newsroom with these late developments, Henry. Hey, Gassia, the SFPD, the DA's office, and Mayor London Bree will hold a press conference at 1230 this afternoon. We're expected to learn new details in this arrest that obviously comes as a huge relief. Now, we have some sound of police on bullhorns arresting the suspect in Emeryville. Take a listen. Now, the suspect in this case was identified as 38-year-old Nima Momene. He's the founder of Expanded, located in Emeryville. He's also a graduate of UC Berkeley. He was booked in San Francisco jail this morning. Nima Momene. Nima Momene. Where is that name from? From someplace where they don't have a whole lot of vowels. That's that's Arabs, man. They don't have, they only have consonants in Arabic. Mm. Let's see, mo many, mo many. Mo, um, well, that's uh, for mo money, right? It's mostly found in Asia, South Asia. Eight ninety-eight percent of the people with that name live in South.